Hello, AP Latin students. How are you? And I hope that you are getting ready for this APLAT exam here in a couple weeks. Uh, it is April 27th, so we are about a couple weeks away from our exam. And if you are like my students and my classes, we are in review mode. We have finished the syllabus and we are going back through the lines. And uh, in my class, we, we do the, the entire Aeneid first, then we do Caesar. And so we go back over we try to go back over every single line of the Aeneid, but boy, you know, just in a couple of weeks, that's impossible. So my MO is, as their teacher is to focus more on sections of the Aeneid that are more likely to appear on the AP exam. So for instance, if, uh, if a section appeared last year, I'd bet a lot of money, a lot of money that it's not going to appear this year. So we're going to, we're going to go through that section really quickly. Now, Let's look at another prediction that I have here, my second prediction, uh, or actually my, it's my third prediction um, for this year's AP Latin exam, which is lines 530 to 538 from book one of the Aeneid. Now, this is a prediction because it has never appeared on an AP exam ever. I mean, we're talking going back to the 80s, it has never appeared. Now, a little bit of background here really quickly here, just to, to, to really kind of uh, lay out why I think this might be on your exam this year. Um, this current syllabus started in 2013. The syllabus before it was all Virgil all the time. So about 2,000 lines of the Aeneid. Now, when they, when they transitioned to this new syllabus, they had to take out a bunch of the Aeneid to make room for all the Caesar, right? So they kind of shrunk the syllabus. So about 90% of the current AP Latin syllabus are lines from the Aeneid that were on the previous syllabus. Now, there's about an 8 or 10% of the Aeneid that you are reading this year that is, that is new. So they added, and it's never been on the syllabus before. In fact, the old syllabus used to go through lines uh, 519. And so a lot of this 500 stuff, in fact, 520 to 578, has never before featured on an AP Latin syllabus except the one that you're reading right now. Now, if you go back over the last nine years of AP exams, what you're going to find is on almost every year, in fact, maybe every single year, there is a portion of these quote unquote new lines on every single exam, except these lines, 530 to 538. So my guess, my estimation, my hope is that these lines will be on this year's exam because I'm going over these lines with my students with a fine tooth comb. And if you look at them, it's they're too long for a translation, but they are just the right size for a multiple choice exam or multiple choice section or a free response section, a short answer section, uh, maybe a, an essay uh, pairing with something from the De Bella Gallico or pairing with another part of the Aeneid, which is a possibility as well. And uh, there's just all sorts of really great stuff to talk about. So if my students and you spend a little bit more time on this and are a little bit more prepared, well, if it shows up on the exam, then you're going to separate yourself from everybody else. And if we look at 530 to 538, now you can go back and look at my YouTube videos for a translation of this, but there's all sorts of wonderful things that we can uh, ask about this in terms of geography. You know, what is Hesperia? What does that refer to? Who are the Grai? Um, who are the Oinotri weary? You know, that kind of thing. Um, why are we talking about Orion, the constellation? Uh, that kind of thing. What about uh, what about those figures of speech in 537? Perque undas superante salo, perque in via saxa. Why are we, you know, what do those add to, to the text here? So spend a lot of time on 530 to 538. Um, you might also want to go to AP Classroom and look at what's there. Um, if you're using the Bolchesi Carducci online program Lumina, there is a mock multiple choice question set over these lines. There's also a mock uh, short answer question set over these lines. Um, actually, if you're not using Bolchesi uh, Lumina program now, you can simply sign up for it and it's $10. So it's really cheap and you get mock question sets over every single line of the entire AP syllabus, Virgil and Caesar. Etc. So, might be talking worth talking to your teacher about and uh, doing some last minute prep there over the last two weeks um, with all of those mock question sets. Um, but of course, you can also look at my videos and and see uh, how I translate it, how I explain it. But uh, either way, I hope this helps you on your AP Latin exam. 
good luck this year, everybody. Take care.